Welcome to the video tutorial on how to register for a class or activity on LA County's online registration system. This is for parks and recreation activities, classes, sports teams, all sorts of great activities that you can uh, sign up for yourself or for a family member. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to go to reservations.lacounty.gov and that should take you to your homepage and then you log in. So to log in, I've clicked sign in and it's brought me to the login homepage. Here, you wanna put your email address, your password, and then click, I'm not a robot. Once you've entered your email address, your password, and clicked this button here, then you will uh, click login. Now at this point, it's gonna take you to my account so you can manage anything here related to your account, including adding family members. So if you're signing up for an activity for a family member that's not currently connected to your account, you'll actually start here, change information about friends slash family. And what this will do is allow you to add family members or you can edit uh, information about family members that are already attached to your account. Remember with ActiveNet, it is always best to have one account for your entire household. Uh, you can be the main uh, head of household person uh, listed on the account, but then from there you want to add any family members that you might register for or even some even close friends, you'll want to add them to that one account. Okay, so let's get started in looking for our activities. Under the activities tab on ActiveNet, you'll find a whole slew of activities, classes, sports camps, uh, all sorts of great programming that LA County Parks and Recreation has to offer. You can see here just by going to activities, there's over 1,000 different activities that you can enroll for. So once you scroll down the list, you'll be able to see uh, and find a class that looks interesting to you. You can also utilize this search feature. So let's say I'm looking for a class for basketball. Type it into the search field there and it will bring up all of the results for classes and clinics that are uh, related to basketball. You'll see some information here, uh, including where the activity is taking place, uh, whether it has a price or if it's free. And then the most important thing is to click enroll now when you're ready to enroll. So let's take this one as the example. I've clicked enroll now. I look up here, I'm definitely signed into my account. So I should be able to register uh, a family member that's within the age range for this activity uh, very simply. So under participants, you'll see here, this is the main head of household on the account, Mary Smith. It also is noting here that Mary Smith does not meet the age qualification because this is for ages nine to 12 year olds. So let's say I'm signing up you know, a member of my family that's between nine and 12 years old. In this case, Martin Smith is listed here. We'll click on that participant's name. And here in this case for this clinic, it is asking me some follow-up questions. Some of these follow-up questions are related to, uh, you know, protections that we can put in place for the participants in the activity or just additional information that we need to know in order to best serve the youth or other participants in our programs. So I'll use the drop down to answer these questions. Let's say I answered yes. Then you'll see it's an additional field here that asks for additional information. So for this purposes, we'll just answer no. Asking for t-shirt size here. And uh, this is in, in the case that we have shirts available for the participants. So once you've entered all of those fields, then you're ready to go to add to cart. Now it's taking me to the shopping cart screen. You see I have enrolled Martin Smith, who is a youth family member for the Adventure Basketball Clinic, nine to 12 years old. Okay, there's no fee for this. And I'm just about finished. There are some waivers here that we ask you to sign. Now notice anything in blue, you can click to read more. 
Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we will assume that I have read all of those thoroughly. I know what I'm agreeing to. So I will put my initials in each of the boxes here. Check this final box and finish. Okay, you have a receipt uh, here that comes up on the screen. This is the confirmation. You will also be emailed a confirmation uh, receipt to the email account for the head of household on uh, your ActiveNet account. So it's as simple as that. Now, of course, this the example here is a free activity. So what I will also share with you is if you're signing up for an activity that does have a fee, uh, you'll do that the same steps. Uh, there will be that additional step, of course, for you to enter in your payment information. Okay. I will make a note here. It's best to uh, enter your credit card information and then you can even save it to your account. Know that that information is, is held confidential and private just for the purposes of transactions here with LA County Parks and Recreation. But uh, if you do need to cancel or, or request a refund, uh, it's the easiest way for us to provide a refund for you is if you have the credit card number saved to your ActiveNet account. Okay, well that's it for this tutorial. Again, be sure to check out all of the activities that we currently have open for registration and we hope to see you at one of our parks soon. Thank you.